welcome back. We've got a interesting day down here weather-wise. It uh, started off with some rain this morning. And uh, from what I'm aware of, it's supposed to keep raining and eventually turn into snow. I've also got a brand new bottle of rye whiskey. Uh, my old bottle finally ran out. And so I picked up one that I have not tried before. I've had their bourbon, but never their rye. So we'll try that this evening and uh, see how it is. and our beautiful family. Amen. After I ladle this stuff for so long, I just got to gulp it down. Mm. Much easier. This creek is really, really a special part of the woods down here. It's something that I remember looking at and playing around with ever since I was a kid. It really shows how much snow we got this winter. I mean, this has been melting for a while some of the deeper spots, the snow still is coming up to my knees. So this is the pond. There are pockets of water out there, but uh, still pretty frozen. She just lives to explore. So I figured while we wait for the rain to start up, we could do a little sample of our new whiskey here. This is the Bullet 95 Rye. Uh, we'll have a little bit more later on when we light all the candles and everything, but I figure well, we've got some time. Might as well do a little taste. <sighs> Super tasty. And man, is it smooth. Blown away by that. 
definitely uh, glad to have this as our new bottle down here. And uh, we'll have a little bit more later on. That's for sure. deer rain is picking up as well it's so cool to me how they live on our land it's absolutely a little sanctuary for them but honestly this rain is picking up for the safety of my, my camera I gotta get back gotta get back down to the cabin Come on, El. Oh, we're getting blasted with hail. Ooh. Whoa! Get in the house, Al. I couldn't, I, yeah, I couldn't believe it when it came on and it's kind of like hung around for a while. Are you getting it on video? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I just love how it's raining out too. It looks really pretty. Well, and then get this. I'm looking at the weather. It says light rain with thunder, but then below it, it says blizzard warning. So tonight it says blizzard warning in effect from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. Blizzard conditions expected. Total snow of 5 to 10 inches with heavier amounts possible. Winds gusting as high as 50 miles per hour. Yeah, how's she doing through all this? She's not phased. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Oh my gosh, is that Ellie like kind of freaking out? No, she's actually um she's actually just resting on the couch.
Well, it would seem as though this thunderstorm isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's actually ramped up in the last hour, hour and a half. Um, the lightning strikes are seeming to be, I don't know, fairly close. Eventually tonight it's gonna turn into snow, but uh, the temperature is still well above freezing. So we're just gonna keep hearing the rain, I guess, and, and some uh, thunder rumbles as well. Gonna do a, a small little toast. Uh, the reason I say it's small is because um, I have to head home tonight. We're gonna toast to the beautiful cabin, uh, the beautiful woods, amazing company, and uh, all of you. Really appreciate your support. Our daughter was born two weeks ago, and uh, my wife Riley has been with family all day, but she is heading home now, and I need to do so as well to take care of her and take care of our daughter. Um, if that disappoints you that I'm not spending the night down here, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you can understand that um, I do that all the time, and I will be doing that again, but right now there's just too much going on and more important things than spending the night down here. Um, also, just if you're new to the channel to clear up something, this cabin is on eight acres of woods nearby our home, and we're so grateful for that. It's on my parents' land, and uh, that makes it so we're able to enjoy it frequently. We also have a tiny cabin on wheels, a brand new one that is almost finished that I can't wait to share with you guys. And we have a remote cabin that's been in our family since 1936, and that's up in the North Woods. So there's a few different cabins uh, that make up tiny cabin life. And uh, this one happens to be the one that's close to home. Uh, I love it dearly. It's the first cabin I ever built. And uh, it's very, very um, convenient that I can come here as often as I can and go home and take care of my family. So that's what's gonna happen uh, in a few moments here. I'm gonna head home, but uh, this blizzard is going on all night and I will be back first thing in the morning to close down the cabin and uh, just check out the scope of of the blizzard itself. Oh, there's the snow. <laughs> Thunderstorm to snowstorm, potential blizzard. It's just another day in Minnesota. All right, cabin, we'll see you in the morning. Look at this. It's unbelievable. If it keeps up at this rate, yeah, we're definitely gonna have 10 to 12 inches of snow overnight. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, we're headed back to the cabin. Wow, this is wild. We got snow drifts again. Oh, this is probably not, not a good idea. Oh, wow. Okay, that is the hard, 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 hard part. cabins down there. Let's go check out the woods. Wow, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. This is so wild.
this crazy or what? Pretty wild. It's April 1st. <laughs> so, you know, spring, spring was in the air. April showers bring May flowers, you know? I don't know about April blizzards. I think that brings uh, depression. <laughs> just kidding. I think what blows me away about just living in a place where you have such harsh weather and such like drastic changes in the seasons is just that like, there's just like a, a temporary nature to life, you know, like you may be going through something incredibly beautiful and then <laughs> before you know it, here comes the blizzard and um, and then the other way around as well, like you may be going through something really tough and then uh, the snow melts away and, and the creek returns and the birds are chirping and but I think at the end of it all, if you build you know, on a firm foundation and you build something that's built to last, you can withstand all of it and you can, you can be there to witness it. You know, I know that's a little philosophical for the, for the morning, but, um, that's just who I am. So not going to lie too. I'm definitely a little, uh, little bummed that I wasn't able to ride the whole thing out down here, but, uh, yeah, we, we, we did it as close as possible. <laughs> oh, guys, come here, Elle. <laughs> she loves the snow. So do I, you know. Maybe for a couple more weeks, and then it'd be nice to get spring to come back. But, uh, man, what an amazing experience. Uh, I think that's going to do it for the video. Like I said, it's just so wild to experience nature and, and its extremes like that from a pretty, you know, powerful thunderstorm to a blizzard all in 12 hours. Like, that's wild. But you know, as tiny cabin life comes to an end for today, dad life persists. I gotta get home. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video.